say Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest stable version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop version 98 is now rolling out. And because of the uh, four week release cycle, as mentioned previously, the new features are very thin on the ground and this is no exception with version 98. And there's not too much to actually report on regarding new features, but I will try to mention some of the uh, key highlights and add-ons for you in this video. And also you get the all important security updates which roll out in every version update to the Google Chrome web browser. Now the first new add-on and little key highlight that we can mention is apparently we are getting better emoji uh, in the browser now in version 98. And this is due to a new set of color gradient vector fonts in those emojis and which apparently give us better scaling uh, in the emoji and apparently you'll only really see a difference when you zoom in to an emoji um, using that new color gradient uh, vector in those fonts in those uh, new emoji apparently um, when they are still at their default size you're not going to see too much difference but when you zoom in apparently you will notice a difference um, uh, when you zoom in. And the next uh, key highlight and little feature to mention is that you can now take screenshots in the browser. Now this looks like it's an, on a controlled rollout as I'm not actually seeing it in both my Windows 10 and 11 device, but it will, will appear in the sharing hub, the sharing menu in the top right of the address bar, which will appear uh, in the drop down fly out menu. So if you aren't seeing it, I'm sure that you will get it in the near future as it is on, it seems to be at the stage on a controlled rollout. Now, if you are seeing it, uh, just to mention this quickly, if we just pop over to Chrome Canary, this is what I'm talking about. It's a new screenshot tool. And if you click on it, you can just capture any portion of a web page and you can edit it to your choice and you can also download that image. So that's a little handy feature uh, if you are prone to taking a lot of screenshots in your browser. And then um, a new feature that was mentioned regarding the web apps in version 97, which was the last release, um, is apparently um, the web apps are getting a bit of a better look and are looking a little bit more native looking um, at the top bar of the web app now. That's the PWA progress for web apps. And um, this was kind of been tested in version 97. And, and now in version 98, it's actually rolling out as a default feature, which used, utilizes the space a lot better at the top of the web app. Um, and apparently this takes up a, a lot less space and just makes things a, lot, a little bit more uh, less cluttered and a little bit more tidy at the top of the PWA. And then another feature, which actually isn't a default feature in version 98, but nonetheless is, you know, I think uh, important enough to mention is we get a new privacy guard, which I actually have also featured previously in a Chrome Canary video. And um, as I say, this is not a default feature. And if you'd like to try it out, um, we have to use an experimental flag. And to do this, we just head up to the Omnibox, the address bar and enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. I'll mention that again. That's Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just paste in well, I'm just going to type it in quickly. Privacy review. That's the flag you're looking for. You can actually find it by just entering privacy and it'll bring up the flag called privacy review. Shows a new sub page in settings that helps the user to review various privacy settings. And that's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, Android and Fuchsia. And we changed uh, the uh, default option to enabled relaunch the browser to apply that flag and if we just head over now to our menu in the top right click on settings go to your security and privacy yeah you'll see a new privacy um uh, guard a review guard which basically um collates all your privacy settings into one convenient little menu and it says understand and re review the most critical privacy settings in one place and if we just go review settings and um, customize some of chrome's most important privacy choices get started and then it just gives you um review settings for search and browsing optimizations makes searches and browsing better 
we can toggle that on and then, then it just tells you what you get and uh, what you share with Google. And I have mentioned this in a previous Google Chrome Canary uh, version um, of the browser in a previous video. And then obviously your history, what you get, what you share with Google. And then your choice, uh, choose your safe browsing protection, which just um, tells you if you're on enhanced or standard protection. And then again, what you get and what you share with Google. Now, um, as I say, this just basically pops all the most relevant privacy settings into one handy little menu. And then yeah, block third party cookies in incognito, what you get and what you share with websites. And you also have the option to block all third party cookies. So this just takes all your privacy settings and pops them into one handy privacy guard. And that's basically your review complete. And then you can also go to your privacy sandbox trial and web and app activity. And then as mentioned, uh, we get those all important security updates which roll out with every version update to the browser. And in version 98, um, if we go to those release notes, stable channel update for desktop, yeah, we see that Google says that uh, this update includes 27 security fixes. And out of those 27 security vulnerabilities that have been addressed, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those are high risk and a high vulnerability and those have been addressed and then we go from medium to low so if you're not even if you're not uh, interested in features then just make sure your browser is up to date uh, to address those 27 security vulnerabilities eight which are high and yeah i see again we have type confusion in v8 which is that uh, v8 javascript engine which is always prone uh, to attack so if you'd like to see if you have the latest version as always, we just head up to our menu again, go to help about Google Chrome. And if you do use the browser regularly, this update process will take place in the background. But if you'd like to double check if you have the latest update, you should now be on version 98.0.4758.82. That's the latest version and build that carries the uh, new features and add-ons I've mentioned in this video and also those 27 security uh, fixes uh, which address those vulnerabilities in the browser. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.